Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to part two or part six, depending on how many of these that you have watched of my thread up 200 pound bulk mystery rescue box series. For me, this is part number six because I purchased two 200 pound orders on the same day. They all arrived at once. So I've got eight 50 pound boxes. I opened up four yesterday and I am opening up the second four today. Originally, I thought I was going to wait and kind of process them one at a time, but just for my purposes, it's a lot of work. I spent 12 hours with basically no breaks yesterday processing order number one. But because I do buy, sell, trade stores, it's easier just to make a huge mess, open all of them, go ahead and sort it, get things back in boxes, have things ready to go to the buy, sell, trade stores, and that's, you know, so I'm creating a lot of work at once versus a little bit of work over time just to get it done. All right, so very quickly, typically $400 on sale for 30% off. I paid $308.84 for all four boxes. That makes each box about $77. And we're going to open up a 50 pound box together today for this video. Uh, I am putting these videos out in between my what sold, maybe a different video here and then just to kind of shake things up. But hopefully you're along for the ride. I know I got tons of comments on my Instagram when I showed that I ordered these boxes. These are my most requested thing to order and to unbox for you. So I hope you like it. I hope you're here for it. So let's dig in, shall we? All of these uh, boxes came from Swanee, Georgia. It's been quite a mix. My last box, spoiler, if you haven't watched box number one of me wearing this same outfit, it was a ton of Limited and Banana Republic and J. Crew. Basically, I feel like I got someone's career wardrobe. So let's hope for some different things. My first round of the boxes were quite different from each other. You just never know. So let's dig in and it's um, raining really hard outside. So if you hear a weird sound, it's that. My kids are home, which is not usual. I got dogs running around. We got dinner being eaten. So real life over here, guys. All right, this first thing we have says Christina Vergani made in Italy. I've never heard of that. This is just a really long yellow dress. It does feel like it could be linen. It has pockets. 80% linen, 20% cotton, made in Italy. I have never heard of this. Maybe this is something. So we're going to set it right here in my let's look it up pile. I have probably looked up 200 pieces of clothes already, but that's part of this deal. Hi, I have an audience. All right, we have got a super old navy, super old navy. I'm already, guys, this is only box number two or four, Amanda, get it together. A super old, old navy tag. I mean, this is like from when I was in high school, dating myself here for sure. Uh, let's see, holiday of 01. I graduated high school in 2003. So, yep, I definitely remember these being a thing, this whole little slouchy neck, but you know what? Velvet has kind of made a comeback. This is officially vintage. Uh, so we're going to wash it because the tag is dirty. I might just have to list that for nostalgia's sake. All right. Um, I am in the middle of recording these, so I've still got my Plato's Closet Style Encore slash Clothes Mentor. I'm going to list it. I'm just sitting in front of me for now because I'm folding it up and putting it in an Ikea style bag and then donate slash needs to be washed for sure. So those are all of my piles I've got. And if you order this box, I suggest having a system. Otherwise you are going to end up, the way these things get shoved in these boxes, once you take them out, it is almost impossible to fit them all back in, especially if you fold them. All right, the side or the entire tag was cut out of the top of this and inside, inside and outside. Um, yeah, it's kind of cute. It's probably an extra large don't know what I'm gonna do with that. Um, I might actually see if my mom wants to try that on. It might be too like young looking for her, but this feels nice. Ooh, this is Paige. I got one pair of Paige jeans 
in one of the boxes and y'all they were like the worst condition page jeans i've ever seen but this is a very cute top you might see flaws before i do just know i do go over these items much better of course after the videos this is a hundred percent silk has the style number that tag in there looks unlike like it maybe has never been washed so this is nice hopefully there isn't a huge snag or something like that that is something number one item out of this box i plan to list for sure old navy is to be determined wow this is quite a little number here um we're gonna send this to play-dohs do you like this bug <laughs> of course you do my middle child is gonna be the one that wears all the like festival attire and all right this is a very old under armor t-shirt it is quite pilled you can't even read the size tag i have a bag over here for my best friend and her daughter to sort through so it will go to them altered state size extra small this is very cute oh i really, actually really like the front of that if this was bigger i would keep it for myself that's going to go to Plato's. I could list it, probably $15. This is Pixie Lady, size medium. Never heard of it. Doesn't feel like anything super substantial. Collective Concepts, size medium. I've not heard of that either. Doesn't feel like anything. Usually some of these better brands, you just can tell by feeling. This is a little sequin number. What are you, a skirt, a tube top dress? No idea, there's no tag in here. Maybe she in? 100% polyester, it does have a size small in there. And you like this? Hey, come look, am I still not blurry? Everything look good? You're fine. I'm fine? Minus my shadow from my hat. Yes, I know, but y'all can't see my hairdo right now. So I'll have to have bad lighting on my face. It's fine. You're not looking at me. You're looking at the items, right? All right, Adrian Vedadini, size small. I sold a few pairs of shoes in this brand. We've got a romper. There has been a lot of rompers. This is as you wish, size small. Um, but this has that thing around, is that the back? Okay, good. That's the back because around the neck, that would not be super cute. Hmm. I'm going to send that to Play-Dohs. Sometimes like it's a battle. Do I send it to Play-Dohs? Do I send it to Style Encore? Yeah, I could send it to Style Encore first, but all right, we've got a new tags. Finally, the first, I had a lot of new tags in some of the beginning boxes and then it tapered off. Express, $49.90, extra small. However, not an exciting new with tags because it's cold shoulder and I don't think anyone is, uh, I doubt Play-Dohs will even buy that from me. This is Old Navy, size small, but this is really cute. It says, be a hero, a crop top sweatshirt. Did I say size small? It's quite oversized. Like I wear large things and this is quite large. looks really comfy the actually looks like it's in really great shape from 2022 I'm not a crop top kind of girl but I might actually hold on to this just in case it happens to be a little chilly around Halloween time we go to a lot of festivals maybe I would wear that with something high-waisted we'll see this is um G size small one of those brands makes super cute clothes. You're not going to make a lot of money. It typically will sell. This feels like linen. 100% cotton size small. I'm probably maybe going to list that. I haven't had many items to list like I thought I would, which is fine. I mean, there's been tons that I could list, okay? I'm choosing to list UMG when I sent a ton of J. Crew in my box for Style Encore. I could get more for that, but that's, I, I would prefer to list that. All right, Forever 21, some sort of little number. Anything Forever 21, I automatically just send there as long as it's in okay shape, send there as in um, Play-Dohs. 
So this looks like it's missing an under. I don't know. There's not, no size, no nothing. I probably won't take that, but all right, we've got some sequins, some scotch tape. What is this? Okay, new tag papaya. That used to be a store in our mall. Uh, $27.99. A sequin dress. But this is cute though. I don't I don't know if Play-Doh buys this kind of stuff all year round, but I could definitely see this as a one-time use like New Year's Eve party dress. Oh wait, romper. We'll try. If anything new with tags makes its way back to me, I will probably end up listing those things. Charming Charlie, very bright. Come on, give me some Lululemon. I haven't had any Patagonia. I usually get at least one, no North Face, no outdoor wear at all, actually, in any of the boxes. And this is box six of eight. New York and Company, size zero. We have had a ton of Chino shorts. Ooh, Gloria Vanderbilt, and somebody actually had these dry cleaned. These are, these have to be vintage. Size 10, 100% cotton, high, like, high-waisted, Oh, what is this? <laughs> this is quite heavy. Check out this number. Wow, super tight. I don't know if there's any of these things missing. There's, I don't see a tag up here. Doesn't seem very well made at all based on the inside. It's probably a Fashion Nova or Shein. It is bandage, size small, at least there's a, a size, but wow, okay. <laughs> All right, Spence, size four. This is cute. This would be nice for a holiday party. Something else, cold shoulder, size small. Nobody's gonna want that, so that's gonna get donated. Love J. Uh, I think that's the back. Mm, don't know. Ooh, new attacks. What are you? Forever 21, contemporary. Uh, price tag was cut off, but. Hey, at least it's new with tags. If I'm gonna get Forever 21, I'd like it to have some tags on it. It's a cute little blouse, actually. I have vivid memories of shopping at Forever 21 with my college roommate my freshman year. Oh, Intimately Free People. I think this is our first Free People piece. It's a little trapeze style tank. This is really cute. Oh, what's that? New tags DKNY size four. This is cute. Not that this is gonna make a lot of money, but I'm going to list this only because I think this will photograph really well against my white background. And it just reminds me of Vibrant Lily and I like it. And if I like something, it does have an MSRP tag of $129. Ooh, some J Crew, new with the tag. Barbie pink, no retail price, but it's not factory. From spring of 2020, these are awesome. And because of Barbie, I will list these. They're new with the tags. These are really fun. I like these a lot. That's cool. I need some more of that kind of stuff. All right, we've got Armani Exchange. I remember when that was all the rage. We have one of those like in the tourist area on International Drive. At least we used to. It's probably not there anymore. Size small. Uh, it says Armani Exchange and these look like rhinestones when it's glittery. I'll, I'm gonna put this in my lookup pile. I'm just curious. I don't know if that brand sells, but we're gonna try. All right, more new attacks. H&M, size six. Because it's a size six and not like a small, medium, large, it will go to Style Encore because um, Plato's has told me, even if it's like a trendy looking piece, nine times out of 10, they're told not to buy things if it's an 
even number item. We've got more H&M, 24 dollars price tag. This stuff is so wrinkly though. And like, I do not think they buy stuff this wrinkly, but it's also like, is it worth it for $3 to steam it? My mom did tell me she would do some steaming for me. We've got two by Vince Camuto, another jumpsuit. You trendy people out there, are jumpsuits in style? I mean, I just, I love them. It does have the belt, just like rompers. But for me, it's the bathroom situation. If I have to go and I'm out somewhere, I will never forget Michael and I went on a date and I wore a lily romper and it was a type that had to be unbuttoned and I forgot and I got to the bathroom and it, it was the whole situation, trying to get out of that romper and not pee myself. Oh, all right, loft outlet size two. Those are cute. My Style Encore box is about to be overflowing. But I've learned so much. This is probably my sixth or seventh time over the last three years ordering 200 pounds. And the old me was like, I'm gonna list this. this. No, no, you're not, Amanda. It's gonna sit in bins. You're never, gonna, you're never gonna list it. So only keep out what you're actually gonna list. This is cute. This is like a heavier suede material by Paper Crane, size medium. Some of this stuff, like this is like a substantial feeling piece. I'll look it up. I know that this brand doesn't retail for a lot, but I might list a few things like that that are just like a Artelier or size four, a skirt. I don't think that's anything. Uh, polyester viscose. I don't know. I'll look it up, but chances are I'm probably not going to list that. But I like looking up a lot of these things just. I have a very good memory and I'll remember and I won't have to look it up next time. Fab Rick. <laughs> That's great. Um, it's actually a very interesting looking sweater. I was going to say from the back, like this threading that they use is super thick. It looks like a chain link fence. And then I see on the front, there's like chains on it. It doesn't feel nice and it doesn't have a size up there. Size small, hundred percent acrylic. So just because I think this is interesting, I know it's going to go to Play-Dohs, but I'm going to put it, oh, it has a little flaw right here. Uh, I want to look it up and see, like, is, where is this from? Is this a boutique? Just because I do like to learn. And part of reselling is you have to enjoy learning and looking things up because it's literally part of what, if you don't ever check comps, you're probably not making as many sales and you're sitting on inventory. This is Aqua, size extra small. That's cute. Another one that, like, this is a Nordstrom house brand, I believe. And um, I just think it would photograph so well. So I might, I might list that one. We got apartment nine, size large. Kohl's, I don't know where else, but definitely Kohl's. A and A, a new approach size medium. Just a basic tank. All right, I'm ready for something else really good. Not this, this is Cable and Gage, which I have purchased several of their pieces for myself over the years, but from TJ Maxx on clearance. Nobody's paying $58 for that, but this is a size large, just a very cute, soft, basic, something I would probably wear, but I don't need any more basic things like that. We've got a J. Crew factory skirt, summer of 2019. And I was just curious, 60% linen. Felt like linen with a cute little belt detail. This doesn't feel like it was ever washed. It feels new without tags. Even the way that that belt is still folded. Maybe I'll list that one. If, you're, if you've watched all the others, I have been very, very picky. And so maybe I'll list a little bit more than I'm thinking. Because my plan is, we are September 1st today. My plan is to not really do much more sourcing for the rest of this year, except for there is a kid sale coming up and there's one bag sale coming up that I go to every year. But besides that, I think I have a, we'll have enough of these videos dealing with this, going to the buy, sell, trade stores. Now, when I go to the buy, sell, trade stores, I am still gonna be sourcing so I can get my sourcing fixed. But 
I'm gonna try to not source much for the entire rest of this year because not only do I have 400 pounds in my house to deal with now, but I've got about 12 Rubbermaid totes full of inventory to list. So I'm going to try to get all that taken care of and go into the new year, which is crazy to even think of that on a clean slate. At least that's my goal. Okay, Melissa Page skirt. Pretty sure I looked that up in another box. It was nothing. We've got Banana Republic factory new with the tags. Now I know even the factory stores, things are not cheap. When I was, when I had a career job, I shopped at the, these outlet stores. This is a really pretty plum color. Is it silk? Now taking these type of things to the buy sell trade store definitely increases the polyester elastane. My overall, uh, how much I get per piece, but I want new with tags items in my shop. And even though that's outlet, I feel like that's a great fall color, a nice wardrobe staple piece. Some J. Crew chinos, size eight. They are factory as well, $36.50, but I have sold these exact same shorts, and I think they sold for like $25. They wanted $36.50. I'll probably list those. All right, this box is getting better, guys. All right, this is Zenergy by Chico's, size zero. This is a very cute little jacket. Chico's does sell for some people better than others. Um, I'm going to let Buy, Sell, Trade have that one because I'm 99% sure they'll take it. J. Crew Factory City Fit um, shorts. Summer of 08. I was just, these used to be like all that I wore. I had so many different colors of these type of shorts. Adidas, size small. This is really cute. I don't find myself wanting to list Nike or Adidas in one of my boxes. Was it the first one? I got like 12 pairs of Nike running shorts. I did decide to list those, but Mango Pop. Never heard of it, but this looks exactly like something that Play-Dohs might want to have. The Play-Dohs we went to today is not a location. I don't even go in there. Michael took my stuff in there for me. I made 40 bucks. They, they, I got over $2 per piece, but they just don't take much. The store is a wreck. It's like, they're trying to fit 500 pounds of stuff in a store made for a hundred pounds. Like it's just a disaster, but there is one location that tends to take a lot from me. So I'm going to make a trip there this coming week. Where is the top of this? Ooh, this is a nice t-shirt dress by Zara Trafalic, size small. But I hate that they write, the, they type the date on, on this uh, particular line of diffusion. They always put the, the date on this main tag. So you can't tear it out. So buy, sell, trade stores are not going to buy something from spring of 2018. So my options are list it or donate it. Because um, I, just, I just know that they won't buy it so Vince Camuto new with tags $79 again nobody pays retail for this brand this is you can find this kind of thing at TJ Maxx size small it is cute this is a green envelope Los Angeles another very common brand I see TJ Maxx is like in, right next door to our Target, so that's why I reference it a lot. It's one of the only stores I actually go into, but usually it's for like spices and dog toys. All right, Wild Fable, size medium. This is really cute. Play-Dohs or, I never know. Like, I feel like Wild Fable is more their juniors line. I've looked it up before, but you know, I have the memory of a goldfish. All right, Ann Taylor, size six, just a, Oh, it has a little detail. Here it is. On the back, it's got that, these cute little buttons. I have no interest in listing black skirts. This is Blue Rain, which some of these pieces actually can do okay. I don't remember where it's sold, but this is size extra small. Really cute little top there. We've got a new tag, Zara again, summer of 2018. So because this one's new with the tags, this is actually really cute. I don't mind listing that one. I wanna list that one more than I do that dress. All right, we've got a divided H&M size 12. Definitely shows a bit of wash wear, like fade. 
I'm gonna have to go to the buy sell trade stores like 12 times. <laughs> Forever 21 size small. Finally, some Lululemon in this box. Nothing super exciting, and it's just a tank top with this like gathered edges. The only problem with these is like I never know the size, and I don't know how to find the size, and so I end up just kind of guessing, which does make it a harder sale. Set harder sell, harder sale. I'm not sure which is correct. We've got mustard seed size small. I did look, I have something in my to list pile from this brand. I think it's like most brands, it just depends on the piece, whether it's gonna be worth your time. This one I'm, is not. Calvin Klein, here we are with the Calvin Klein again. I said it a zillion times. Ooh, I liked their perfume. Um, very substantial, very nice pieces. Who's here, FedEx, UPS? Maybe something for my grandma. But they, they use these weird little plasticky things for their size and they always come off. And I think that it's like if people get their things dry cleaned, especially whatever, or like maybe the heat or the whatever. Oh, and this has like a, a rip. So that will go. This is a Lauren Ralph Lauren size small button up. Now I have to say, I don't want to jinx it because I still do have two full boxes and a little bit left in this one. There have not been many button ups. I'm not expecting anything y'all. So don't worry, babe. It's not for us. My mom, she lives next door. Remember old Navy active, some leggings. Well, maybe I did jinx it. Okay. But this one is a Ralph Lauren, Ralph Lauren new with the tags button up. So as much as I dislike button ups, I'll list that one because it's new with tags. I'm still checking. This one was not. Lots of tags in the bottom of this box. All right. This is the brand Rewind. This looks like something you'd find at, well, I was going to say Dillard's, but Kohl's. $48. It's got its belt. This is cute. This is probably a, a Junior's. It's not going to come up right. It's kind of an odd colorway to have cream and black and then a brown belt, but oh, you know what? They are looking for us, babe. I totally just told a lie. The dogs are going to freak out. It's Bianca's new, um, it's her, what did I order her? A harness. All right. Old Navy, some shorts. These are cute. She's finally ready to like go on walks. She's not super, super, she's eight pounds now. And she outgrew the one full body harness and all the rest of the ones we have for her are too big. So we, we have, we're missing that one size. Hopefully it fits her. Cause you know, I didn't measure her. <laughs> all right, loft size two. These are very thick, good quality. I feel like he's just out there aimlessly wandering around like, oh, there he goes. Okay. Gap size two, some more shorts. I'm really hoping by sell trade takes shorts. Otherwise, I'm gonna have a bunch of bundles to list of shorts. This feels nice. This is Talbot's Outlet Woman, size 20 W. This is pretty. It needs wash because I could tell that the tag, you know, you can just tell the tag is yellow. It's like probably sweat. And there are some um, armpit deodorant marks, but this is cute. I probably list that myself based on size don't have a lot of larger sizes at the moment in my shops. All right, this is Gap, size extra, extra large, the fitted boyfriend shirt. This is very cute, from 2018. Um, oh, there's dirt on it. Um, maybe that, oh, and on the collar. I was actually gonna put this in the pile for my mom, like when it gets a little chilly outside. These days she gets cold a lot, and this is just really cute. She doesn't mind ironing things, not me. If it has to be ironed, I don't wear it. Um, so she she might want that. Forever 21. Just a skirt. American Eagle Outfitters. New with the tag, but this this is like, this is an old tag. This might even be so old that they didn't put the, the date in it. Oh, nope. Um, 2013. So... I'm gonna have to list that myself because 
when it's new with tags, I can't just rip out the date tag because then it's super obvious that I ripped out the date tag. So I have to list that one myself. Or I could take the tags off of it, but I'm gonna at least make a couple more dollars by selling it as new a tag versus sending it to Play-Dohs. This looks like it has loose threads, but from wherever the uh, name, the, the tag was. What's on this? Roses. This is a pretty little dress. It feels nice, but could 100% viscose. It has a style number and it has an RN number. So I am gonna look this up even though there's no brand or size tag. I have found some decent pieces over time by doing that. It definitely has like some deodorant on the inside, but I'm gonna look up that RN number just because I don't want this to be like something amazing. It's not missed it. Okay, they put all the new tags in the bottom of this box. This is loft size small, 59.50. This is really cute though. I am cutting out some work for myself. I'm curious for you resellers out there, do you dedicate like a day for photos? Like, okay, on Mondays, I'm gonna do nothing but take photos, like batch work. That's what I do. And then, and then I have a phone full of photos for the next several days to list. But I'm just wondering if I'm burning myself out. This is just an old navy t-shirt um, set or gap size extra, extra large, but it looks like an extra large something else. I'll just see if my mom wants to try on. I've just got to figure out the fastest and most efficient way to do this. Typically I'll do like all jeans, all shoes, anything I have to sit on the floor. H&M size medium. Just a very comfy sweater. It feels, I'm sure it's not wool or cashmere or anything like that, but it does definitely feel all right. Actually it has 4% wool. Look, I'm down and on H&M, but apparently they have some, I know that their higher end lines have some good materials, but that was surprising. Old Navy relaxed, another extra, extra large. Oh, there's a big old hole right in the front. Otherwise, you see it? Uh, this feels really nice. And my mom would have liked that shirt. It's like a chill around the house. We've got loft again, size small, 44.50. I like, I'm just shocked at how much retail prices are these days. Just because I go to the bins, I order these boxes. A lot of my wardrobe is thrifted or purchased from like thread up where I can pick out the items. Um, and it just, I buy things new with tags, but typically secondhand, you know? So to go into a store and pay $44.50 knowing I could get so many pounds from the bins for that, so it's crazy. And to know that when I was younger, making like not a lot of money, I went to the mall and blew my paychecks all the time on stuff like that. I'm not the only one. All right, this is a size large bra. What's It is balance, which I don't think that that's, anything um it's missing the pads i'll probably just keep that we've got a three pink hearts kohl's 40 dollars, but you know you don't pay full price at kohl's friends ever for this cute little dress this tell you was an extra small it was on clearance for eight dollars um even though this one's new with tags i'm not gonna list that one that's something you put on top of your box for Play-Dohs so they think you've got a lot of good stuff. O-D-D-I, O-D. -D -I, I don't see a size, but maybe there's one in the bottom. I don't feel like looking, let's speed this up. Ooh, Banana Republic, new with tags, not factory, size zero. This feels like it's gonna be something substantial. It is just like a plain black, very thick knit, um, very stretchy career style dress. It is only a zero, but I, I like that a lot. I don't like photographing. Look, okay, more new attacks. I am happy. Hey, there's my son. Hey, rare appearance. From summer of 2020, size four, $138 for a pair of pants. It's crazy. Crazy, $138. So maybe I can make 30, right? You would think. That is crazy. And remember, just to recap, I had $77 into this entire box. We've got 
Banana Republic size zero, another Barbie item. This is cute. It is not new with the tags, but let's see, does it need to be washed? No. Oops. Mm. I always check. So nine times out of 10, if there's a nice dress or piece where you're like, why the heck didn't thread up take this? Or why didn't this sell? There's deodorant on the inside. They just simply didn't wash it. So this is cute. I will list that. I mean, it takes two seconds to get a wet washcloth and wipe out deodorant marks if you don't feel like washing. Just saying. All right, Divided H&M, a really cute little dress. I see the bottom, friends. Thank you for sticking with me. We've got two more boxes. This is Joie, size extra small. This is cute. I like all the details of this. This brand used to sell, at least from I've heard from other resellers, better than it is now. It is 55% linen though. So I'm gonna look that over really well and just based on the fabric content and I like the colors, I may list that. Something else new with the tags. Ooh, this is a size small. A very chunky sweater by Angie. That's cute. All right, size small tall from Old Navy. This is a cute little dress. From um, just from last summer, summer of 2022. Cause it's a size tall, I'm gonna list that. Same for if it was a short. I feel like people look for those things. Treasure and Bond, extra small. Oh, it is new with the tags. I was gonna say, this is just a Nordstrom Rack House brand. I mean, it was $59 at Nordstrom Rack. But it is super wrinkled. Nope. Play-Dohs can have that. But now, I have to go back through these bins. Like, I'm just dropping this in a box. I'm going to have to go through, button up all the buttons, fold things, lint roll things. So it is still quite a process even after this part. Oh, this feels nice. Oh, this is, I've never heard of this. We all know LuLaRoe, but this is Lux by LuLaRoe. Like these feel like some comfortable leggings. Lux leggings, extra small. Like, have you guys ever seen this tag? I mean, look, I've got a pair of LuLaRoe leggings and they're comfortable, but these are like next level. So shockingly, I might actually look these up. Uh, I do know that if you, I've never found them, but if you find the LuLaRoe jeans, those actually sell really well. So. The dresses don't sell, the crazy funky leggings don't sell, but these feel amazing. So I'm hoping maybe someone out there had a pair of those and loves them and looks for them on their secondhand market. This is Love Tree, size large. I did ask at Clothes Mentor today, um, because I'm in Florida and we don't really have seasons, if they have particular, and she said they don't, they buy all seasons all year long. They're just much more particular of sweaters and jackets when it's not cold out, which we have exactly like two weeks where it might be considered cold. So I thought that was good to know. All right, we've got new tags, Aeropostale, size small skirt. New tags, Old Navy, extra small, high rise. Check your Old Navy stuff, guys. They put a lot of linen. These are 100% cotton, but they, Old Navy actually does use some good materials in some of their items. These are cute. Not gonna list them. If they were linen, I might consider it. We've got Wild Fable, 2021. Yeah, definitely their juniors line. I confirmed that just now. Ooh, I see a Beyond Yoga tag, like new tag. That will be good. That's one of the only brands I have ever gotten a, not a Vero, on Poshmark where they take your listing down for whatever. Vineyard Vines has happened to me last year. This year I've had Lululemon, actually, Wonder Under Leggings. And just the other day I had a Lala Boo, which is like a baby pouch wearing shirt. I've sold two and I have two listed and I got a notice that I used a stock photo on one of them. So Moon and Madison. It's fine, I just relist it and take off the stock photo. But you're only allowed so many, like if you look at your My Posh stats, it will say my removed listings in the last 30 days. And at this moment I have two, but I think in like two days, one of them will fall off. Whoops. 
All right, this is Hazel, size small. Never heard of that. It doesn't feel great. It's got a lot of loose threads on it. So it's, I'm assuming it's like a boutique thing. Almost done, guys. Daisy Fuentes, size large. All right, here's the Beyond Yoga. Ooh, these are cute. MSRP, $110. It says shine on. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Size small. Oh my gosh, look at these. I wish these were much bigger. This is the Beyond Yoga logo. It looks like a lotus plant, I think. These are adorable, and I'm hoping there's a market for those. So like a little mark on them, I can't quite tell, maybe. I will use a toothbrush and some water and get that off. We've got J. Crew, a factory size small. That's really cute. Very oversized. New tags, I feel them. New York and Company, $50. Size extra small. Like I thought it was, um, is it? Yeah, cold shoulder. I'm still gonna toss this in the Style Encore bin only because it's new with tags, but there's a 99% chance that we won't take it. Hollister, size five. This feels like paper, a little mini skirt. It's like three more things. Larry Levine, size medium. I know that this brand makes, um, or this designer makes business suits. I don't think that those have any value, but we'll double check. New with tags. What are we? Banana Republic Factory, size medium. Um, I'm not gonna list that one. I don't find it cute. All right, and the last thing, our Victoria's Secret VSX Sport, the knockout leggings, size small. They are cropped. They are cute. If I sell trade, it's probably not gonna buy cropped leggings, so I might actually list these because your girl loves neon pink. All right, I have got another box now, thank goodness, because my Style Encore box is overflowing. I've got two more videos to do and I am going to attempt to knock them out. It is seven o'clock PM on a Friday night. I know Michael is feeling a little under the weather. He's going to go to bed. So my awesome Friday night is going to be spent filming the last two boxes. And then I've got to at least to get the things we are in my kitchen. Um, so I apologize for the poor lighting and probably the poor lighting in the next two, but y'all love me for my hot messness and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.